Morning everybody, it's Chris here from Australian Education with the Four Majors Notes update for the 18th of July 2012. Hi guys. Okay, I wonder who watched the news yesterday or listened to the news or took notice of the news. Yesterday afternoon we had Bernanke, he was testifying. Everybody was waiting with bated breath because they were wondering if the actual US uh, government was going to uh, go the route of quantitative easing, uh, QE. And um, Bernanke didn't really do much. Um, he offered, he, he said it was going to be very gloomy out there with the words. I think um, the Reuters were saying uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke on Tuesday offered a gloomy view on the economic prospects but provided few concrete clues on whether the US central bank was moving closer to a fresh round of monetary stimulus. And um, the news out there, well, the euro, US dollar didn't do a hell of a lot. Um, it moves. Moved lower a bit and then moved higher, but didn't really move move with a lot of um, tension. And what we were left with was another indecision candle. If you look at the daily, another spinning top. Um, more to the upside. Don't get me wrong. Um, price still hugging the high end of, of that bandwidth of this actual trading range. So price still favoring a, a, a pullback, and that pullback coming after um, the noticeable seven six. 78.6 uh, uh, Fib retracement error being tested. So you take the highs of those, uh, those highs in October of last uh, to the pullback, the, the, the low here in 2012 to the high here going through February of this year. You can quite clearly see the price has moved lower since then and targeted those Fib retracement errors. And if I add the 78.6, you can quite clearly see that just recently on the daily chart, you can see price has now found a, a bottom here at the 12200, which happens to be that 78.6. And prices moved higher, and um, but where to? I mean, the most important one over here, you can quite clearly see that we had yeah, roughly around the 123500 mark a major support and resistance level. Let me just put that in 3500. There we go. That was the last swing over here, support and price bounced along this through June and then a break going into July, and now we're trading the underside of that. So, as it stands now. If price fails to rally above the 12,3500, above this area over here, then we could see potentially price reverting to the downside yet again, as it come unstuck. It, it, it could potentially come unstuck if we decide to still keep going sideways. That is, um, in and around this area around here. Okay, but you can quite clearly see that price the last two consecutive days very indecisive. Yes, we've had moving during during the course of the day, but the candle actual um, le the sizes are are quite small leading to indecision. A lot of wick, so there's a lot of speculating um, movement during the course of the day, so the opening close is very, very close together, and you can see the trading range is quite big, and um, that leads to indecision. So that indecision coming at the underside of a prior breakout or prior support, which could potentially be a new resistance level because we're trading at the underside of this 12.35, we have seen a bounce at a psychological fib retracement area, and we are seeing a bounce back um, up towards a potential resistance level. I say potential resistance level because it was a prior support. Okay, we've broken through that now. Any break, break of a prior support or resistance, always you tend to see price pulling back or pulling down uh, and using it as a, uh, confirming as a the other side of that. So if you see in this case a break of a support, could be a new resistance, and you can see the overall trend on this pair very much to the downside. CTC is telling us we should be looking for nothing more than shorting opportunities. Our moving averages are all above price acting as resistance. We should be looking for further negativity. We don't want to look for longness. The only time we would look for a potential long is if price had to open and close physically above the 12.35. And then we could be targeting the 61.8 to the top here at roughly around the 12.500 mark. Looking at our 4 hour chart, you can quite clearly see that price is now trading below that area. And you can see that recently. Over the past couple of days, you can see price heading higher after that bounce at that 12200 mark, which happens to be that 78.6 Fib retracement area on our longer term. So noticeable support here, and if price is to remain bearish throughout, then we need to see price breaking and closing lower than 12, 20, the 12200 to see any further uh, sentiment to the downside. We are seeing consolidation here, you can quite clearly see, bullish engulfing at this area here after a lot of indecision, price just moving sideways. Very indecisively, then we saw price taking off to the upside. 
but it's still trading under the 12,3500. It needs to be trading above 12,3500 to be classified as this is genuine buying sentiment in the market because all this could be over here is just a cons uh, consolidation because it's now physically reached a target that uh, traders will have looked at as potential targets long term. Okay, and by reaching it, they're now taking profit off the table and price is now moving away because all those contracts that they're actually selling now. Uh, are being bought by individuals out there that know who are trading these types of strategies of breaks or bounces etc at very strong support and resistance levels so we get this break however how long will this maintain this momentum to have to maintain it depends uh, as long as 12,3500 is is above price then ultimately we're going to see price uh, falling yet again and we could see a re-attempt of 12,200 quite soon if that was the case so look for potential Resistance here at 12,3500. Look for a nice bearish engulfing, etc., like that. A clear signal you can quite clearly see over here, for example. CTC and off wall is still very much red. We've only got two parts of that strategy that we teach, which is the blue arrow, the blue candle. If this is to be positive, the only two other parts of this will go blue, I think, once we get above that 12,3500. It seems to be that long, long term support and resistance level. You can see quite clearly that uh, price started to, as price moved lower. You can see it started to squeeze. It was converging into the 12200 mark. And once we hit into 12200, you can see the RSI was still, still strengthening as we saw selling, which is telling you that sentiment is not genuinely moving with um, the sentiment. The buying sentiment is not really, selling sentiment, sorry, is not genuine. And we started seeing more purchasing contracts uh, being taken up. And sure enough, RSI is showing us that. Now we're above the 50 now. You can see just recently more has been happening above the 50 over the past couple of days. And you can see the institution moving average, the more important one, is now being broken since uh, the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So you can see since the 4th up until now, price has been trading below the institution moving average, telling us that the sentiment is negative. And so you can see the CTC has been telling us that. Now, in order for us to see that this is genuine buying sentiment, you can see that the, the institution moving average needs to be, uh, you, should, you should see the price trading above the institution moving average, and you should see the relative strength trading above the 50%, telling us that that sentiment is genuine. However, as I mentioned in the 4 hour, you can still see that 12,3500, that price support and resistance level, is still above price. Okay, so things start going positive. However, we're still below a major support and resistance level. This will mean nothing until such time as we're trading above the 12,3500. It's important. Okay, you can either be very risky and take the trade into that area, or you can be very passive and wait for confirmation break and close above the 12,3500 to see further upside movement, or you can see quite clearly that we are on a negative trend long term, okay, daily, weekly, sorry, the weekly, daily, four hour, etc. Look for further negative sentiment because we are trading below a major support and resistance level. So you can see price quite clearly here on our shorter time frames. It seems to be a lot of hesitation going into this 12,500. Clearly here through the 8th, 9th, 10th, yet again through the 17th uh, and 18th. Clear hesitation here at roughly the 12,300 mark. So if that fails to price fails to break above these two barriers yeah then we can obviously see price reverting to the downside soon moving on to sterling let's have a look and see what happened after yesterday's news from bernanke same thing um, upside favoritism is still moving high after three consecutive or two prior consecutive days of movement however you can quite clearly see that the 50 period moving average coming into play yesterday and if you take the highs over here in may to the lows in early june you see the FIB retracement errors, you can still see that 38.2 is still in play. Okay, very much an area of consolidation. You can see prices hesitated around here in the past. There we go. And um, once it's broken through it, it come in clear contact with the institution moving average and the 50% line above it. So a lot of resistance above price at the moment. You can see that if you took the lower swings, swing low, swing low, depicting downside movement, we're coming from lows, prices making lower swings, and the CTC is telling us that that sentiment is still negative. Hence the reason why we're swinging lower, swinging lower, swinging lower. You can see quite clearly here, for example, the hard right edge, there's a lot of resistance. We have the 38.2 FIB retracement area as a resistance level, the 50% uh, moving average, 50 uh, moving average in play, which is also acting as a resistance. And this trend line is also acting as a resistance level. So there's a lot of resistance above price at the moment, guys. And if that continues to stay in play, then ultimately what we're going to see here is an evening star formation of some sort. He has a nice, good, clear indication of evening start. Bullish momentum, indecisive, bearish momentum. Okay, again, bullish momentum, indecision. We just want to see a bearish engulfing here, which would tell us that sentiment is now finding resistance clearly at this, at the 15, seven, uh, 
65 700 mark and we should see price reverting back towards those lows towards the 15500 mark which happens to be the prior support and resistance level consolidation area in the fib retracement area at 23.6 as our first target second target back towards these areas down here at 15300 which happens to be a major support and resistance level for this pair over um, uh, monthly and weekly charts okay the only thing that's going to stop this from being negative is to see price trading well above the 1575 15800 mark because it clearly has to be trading above the institution on our daily and above these fib retracement errors also to confirm that sentiment is now genuine you can see quite clearly here, even through this pullback, uh, we've seen through June, CTC is still telling us on the other side that it's still bearish uh, pullback. It's just bearish consolidation and a very bearish trend. Okay, if I move right out, you can quite clearly see on the daily price has just been bouncing on that 15,300 mark and then ultimately falling back to those lows again. So we could be seeing the same thing happening over here on this pair. Before I show you, you can quite clearly see on the four hour chart, for example, that uh, 15,300 below us. Look where the institution moving averages. See prices trading above the institution moving average quite uh, recently on our four hour. Most importantly, our moving averages are also below price acting as support as price has been heading higher. Notice a very indecisive candle yesterday after the news in Bernanke. And you can see quite clearly now on our four hour, the CTC has gone blue, blue, blue candles, and the CTC on the other side. However, we're still trading below a major support and resistance level, which also coincides quite nicely here with this uh, major trend direction your intermediate trend line you can quite clearly see a lot of resistance on the way down forming lower swings so there's a lot of barriers above price at the moment including that 15700 i mentioned and you can see that's now going to be in play a lot of see price over uh, a number of uh, days finding resistance here it needs to be trading above that so if this momentum is still genuine and the positive in the ctc is still positive it needs to get above this area as soon as possible failure to do so would start seeing selling set or negative sentiment creeping in and then we could see a potential for uh, selling uh, opportunities to arise so until such times it's trading well above the 1567 68 mark we're looking for nothing but consolidation against the major trend with an outlook potentially bearish sentiment to start creeping in onto the US dollar Swiss franc let's have been having looking at this pair you can quite clearly see over the last couple of days we've seen a lot of indecision and this indecision coming at the top as we make our way up towards a major support and resistance level at the 1000 mark after price has actually broken a major support and resistance level recently and we go through the 960 mark you can see quite clearly that price uh, hesitated in around that area after we after 20 uh, uh, January 2012 a lot of resistance through here and recently through May June you can see price heading into this area here and moving um, backwards and forwards between these two ranges on one particular breakout not being able to actually find support on that moving higher and then moving lower a reattempt finding support eventually and price moving lower and in doing so uh, breaking closing higher than the prior breakout high consolidating and moving higher on each occasion so taking these lows down the bottom here in early May to this highs to the start of June and moving back down towards that uh, that um, support area around here in mid June, you can see the fib, um, projection figures because it's now moved higher, pulled back, and then moving higher again. You can project figures uh, to the upside where price is likely to go to. You can see the 38.2, which would coincide with the prior support and resistance level here of the breakout, the 50% line where price uh, rallied into, and then broke and closed higher and then went into the 61.8. Since it's reached the 61.8 fib retrace uh, f projection level. Prices fell to actually build on that. We had four consecutive days of uh, indecision at the underside. Clear resistance level and prices moved lower. Yesterday's candle, or the prior day, closed lower than the 50%. So you'd expect price to now, if anything, pull back towards at least the 38.2, which happened to be the price support and resistance level here at 9700, before we see a potential bounce higher to the upside because the 20 period moving average is in play. Yesterday's candle trading range after um, or speculative trading after the um, after Bernanke's um, tester and you know, was test uh, testifying yesterday afternoon. You can see we had a long trading range followed by uh, price action really uh, closing quite close to the open, which gave us an indecision candle. However, that indecisiveness came at the bottom part of the 50%. So if you took this whole wick and you put a 50% line through here, you drew a 50% line. 
price action happens to be hugging the low end of this candle after a, a major resistance above us. So selling us a sentiment negative work is still negative in the intraday uh, time scale for this. So as long as 980 stays above price or 979 and change here at the 59 intraday uh, stays above price, then we should be ultimately looking for uh, 979. There we go. I'll put that in my four hour. You can see the price is trading below that area now. As long as uh, price is trading below that, then ultimately we should be looking for further shorting opportunities because you can quite clearly see here at 980. Look at the lower swing, guys. Lower swing, lower swing on our four hours. Okay, price is moving into this range now. Now, the next couple of hours, we could see price reverting or re attempting this trend line, this negative intermediate trend line. And you can see we have two parts of our strategy the red arrow, the red candle, but the CTC is still telling us that the ultimate sentiment is still positive. Okay. But as long as that 980 is failed or price fails to break above that, then ultimately this can become the new resistance. And if you have a new resistance, then obviously price is going to fall away and become a bearish. It's going to obviously end up being bearish sentiment. So we should see shorting opportunities. So just be aware or make a note uh, over the next couple of hours if price fails yet again to break this uh, area here at 979, 9800 and um, move higher, then ultimately we could see bearish sentiment creeping into this with an outlook potentially of selling or shorting opportunities to arise because of that. A good indication of looking for uh, entries is an hourly and part of our strategy is to look for entries on an hourly chart and quite clearly see as I mentioned on the 4 hour um, that 980 or 979 um, price is trading below it and until such time as price is trading above it then ultimately the CTC is still looking potentially long to, or intermediate now looking for potentially setups to the downside. You can see since these highs here where prices fell to actually break close trade higher we form lower swings. Okay, now you'll notice that in the hard right edge of here, for example, heading into these highs, you can see RSI was diverging. Okay, RSI was dropping, so the sentiment of it, the buying sentiment, wasn't true buying sentiment as price headed higher, making higher swings. However, RSI was making lower swings. So it's telling you, even though we're moving higher, that the the the, the sentiment out there that was actually purchasing the uh, this particular pair wasn't really genuine. Okay, they seem to me more of a changing of uh, of the guard, more of a changing the hands from uh, buying contracts to more selling contracts. And sure enough, that depicts on the RSI as we see a divergence occurring. Because if I, if price is moving high, you want the relative strength to to it's, uh, to move with price to tell you it's genuine sentiment. In this case, you can quite clearly see it's not, and it's telling you heads up. We are seeing a change of the hands or changing of the guard uh, from one outlook to another. In this case, we're seeing buying sentiment changing to a negative. And sure enough, the RSI tells us that. And then once price um, broke below this 9800, which happened to be price of water resistance in the past, and you can see that there's more action below the 50% line, which is telling us we should be looking for fur or potential for, for selling contracts to, to, be, to be genuine, for more and more selling contracts to be taken up. And sure enough, the RSI dips below the 50% line to tell us that that sentiment is genuine, starting to look bearish overall. And look at that moving averages, all three moving averages in. Well, the most important one in particular is the institution moving average now is above price acting as resistance. So we have the 50% and the institution moving average as resistance above us on our hourly. So things are in this consolidated range. You can see that price has failed to break and close lower than the 976 on our hourly. So a bit of support here. Okay, but that all this action is taking now place uh, below a major institution moving average as well as a major support and resistance level. Okay, so there's quite a strong ceiling level above price at the moment. Okay, if that continues to be the case, then ultimately we're going to see price uh, finding resistance, clear resistance here, trend line still moving lower. You can see lower swings. So ultimately, RSI is still staying below 50, and then we should be looking for an entry to uh, low, a break of 976, and you look for your targets to the downside as, as, as targets. So here, roughly around 970, there's a nice target. There's price consolidated there. Another target here, roughly around the 960, as price consolidated once before there. And then these other ones to the downside. So clear targets. If and when uh, price breaks below, <coughs> excuse me, price breaks below that 975. So if you wanted to, you could also do the low here in, in July to the high. Um, and our, our hourly chart to see fib retracements. If this is clear resistance area, you can see a 23.6 price is trading above. Break and close below the 23.6. Then we should be heading towards the 38.2 in our hourly, just here, just above the 970. Uh, the 50% line will take us here just roughly the 966, 967 mark. 
61.8 here just above the 962 mark and 78.6 is a potential long term or that's a, the lowest we can go before we see price reverting back down towards this 945 so clear targets to the downside if and when price closes below this little consolidation here at 975 last pair of days yes so japanese yen let's have a look and see what's been happening on the daily i uh, mentioned that the 80 mark very strong support and resistance level and after a significant um, couple of days a week price finding resistance at the underside of this price has finally given up the ghost and moved lower okay you can quite clearly see as i move out zoom out on this pair of the daily you can quickly see the price more action below this 80 mark recently than above it and it's clearly telling us that the sentiment is negative because we are trading below a major support and resistance level yes there was an occasion just recently where we saw price breaking higher but notice the ctc on the other side still remaining uh, red which confirmed that that uh, move wasn't genuine sentiment move with positiveness and selling pretty much came in straight away after the break it did however go blue re uh, after that uh, day but you can quickly see that price was still below a major resistance level so it wasn't a genuine buying candle because we're still trading below a major resistance level. So there we go. Quite clearly, a buying opportunity on an indecision candle just doesn't work. You've got to see a decisive candle, and that decisive candle should have come once we've seen a, a clear break and close above the 80 mark, which didn't uh, didn't materialize, so there was no trade. Price moving higher into this underside, and then a break, not with a genuine uh, lot of sentiment, but still under the 80, and that's set up for price to move to the downside again. Uh, if you want to look at price, uh, price um, fib retracement areas from here, you would obviously take the, the low here in January all the way up to that high in March. You can quickly see the 50% line is where the 80 is. 61.8 is where price is trading now. And if price is trading at the underside of a major support and resistance level as well as an institution, then things are starting to look really, really negative. They're setting up for further sentiment to the downside. All we want now is a clear move away. So quite clearly see yes uh, two days ago we saw a break lower than the 61.8 as well as the institution moving average on our daily ctc was selling us the sentiment is still negative most importantly all the moving averages are above price acting as a ceiling level okay we had a buy arrow buy candle or ctc on our side red most importantly we were still trading above the 61.8 so there was no trade very indecisive we want to see a decision candle that decision candle came out in the form of this one i'd uh, like, like to see more decision and less wick but it's still closed below a major, 60, uh, major support and resistance level in the shape of the 61.8 as well as the institution moving average on our daily. And as long as it maintains below these two areas now, i.e. the 61.8 here at 79.10 and the institution moving average, the 200 period moving average, then we should still be looking for sentiment to be bearish. So you can quite clearly see on the Asian session last night, you can see price rallied into 79.10 but failed to break it. And now we're seeing price now playing tic-tac-toe with the institution moving average as long as this area here stays above price as long as price fails to break above this area here at 79.10 then ultimately we should be looking for price to now build sentiment uh, see further selling contracts coming into the fold and then the outlook would be to see price reverting to the downside with this area down here at 77.70 as our first target long term so look be patient look for a nice confirmation um, a bearish in engulfing candle on our smaller time frames so we know if 79.10 is a, a major support and resistance level let's put that in our four hour chart there we go so that 79.10 is in now so i know that price as long as price trades below that then ultimately we are seeing um, a negativity you see that all the moving averages are above price acting the ceiling is telling that sentiment is genuine lower swings from the high swing low swing low ctc is red across the board everything's looking red we have had a little pullback that's that happens okay that's going to happen and then 77.70 way down here is where price is likely to go to if we see price moving away from the 79.10 to the downside because as i clearly stated 79.10 is a major support and resistance level as well as the institution now for our, our daily and we price is trading below all that okay so it's telling us the sentiment is genuinely negative so if you wanted to it could be quite uh, um, aggressive and look for a nice bearish close and then look to enter here right now with your stop above the 7920 if you wanted to or you could be quite passive wait for price to break the prior uh, low in this case way down here at 7875 before you took a trade towards the 7770 that's it for today guys i hope you have a fantastic trading day please ensure that you do look at the news to see if there's anything out there that's going to back into into price action or movement 
Look at Wednesday, for example. You can quite clearly see the Fed Bernanke is testifying yet again. I just love this chap at 3 p.m. again this afternoon. Um, but before then, this morning on the uh, European market, well, sterling in particular, we got clear on count change. We've got the NPC meetings and we have unemployment figures. Uh, let me go into this afternoon, the US uh, 1.30 p.m. GMT. We have the building permits. Um, we'll see, interesting to see how many, how many buildings are being built. That will tell you how much capital is out there. How much lending, etc., happening uh, for loans, etc. Um, housing starts, same figure, They're expecting a higher, slightly higher um, figure, which is great. So it tells you there's more sentiment, or well, there's more positive um, momentum out in the States. Then we have Benenki at 3 p.m. GMT. So we can see a lot of speculat speculative trading, like as we saw yesterday around this time. So if you're not in any trades up until then, I advise you not to trade or get into any trades until we get a clear, uh, decisive. Um, idea of what Bernanke's, um, what comes out of Bernanke's um, testify, testify this afternoon. So then we have the beige book at 7 p.m. So if you're not in anything from 1.30 onwards, I'd, I'd, I'd rather stay away from the market and come back tomorrow and see how the market's actually taken all that news that we're seeing this afternoon. Okay, other than that, please ensure you back up any of your strategies or your or your trades with sound money management, guys. It's so important. A lot of people do do all the hard work, but don't don't trade with with proper money management rules. And they, they people I've seen people close friends come unstuck because of that. It's so important to to to, to back up any of your trading with 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 proper money management. Okay, it's imperative. Okay, so if you have a brilliant trading plan please ensure that you're backing up with sound money management rules other than that keep it simple um, wait for price to give you to to, to tip a hand or, or to give you an indication what's what, what price sentiment is doing out there look for those signals guys look at your support and resistance levels make a note of your major support and resistance levels see what price actions is doing in the formation of the candlesticks what are those candlesticks telling you in and around those support and resistance levels are you seeing more bearish sentiment uh, indication in that account, or you see more bullish sentiment, and then, and 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 then once you you're seeing these these indicators, tell yourself, okay, great, if that's the case, then I want you to do this, and make a note of it, okay, and then put in your trigger alerts, and only when price has done exactly what it is that you want it to do, okay, then you go ahead and trade it. Don't speculate, okay. Set rules, rules of engagement, okay, that's important. And um, leave it and just keep it the rest as simple as possible and let the strategy template do the rest for you. Okay, remember this the, this particular strategy template is just a confirmation, it's just adding more confirmation to your, to your analysis. So, if you do all your analysis correctly and you see that the CTC strategy is also complementing what you've just figured out, then hey presto, there's, there's more bang for buck, it's more genuine, and ultimately you're going to be more profitable because you're going to be making the right call. Okay. Otherwise, I'll leave you for today. Have a fantastic trading day, and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, trade serenely.